We're speaking with uh, Katie Lieback. She's actually a Kilbane before she was a Lieback. And uh, she is uh, here to talk about the big event coming up with the Nancy Corrigan uh, movie being shown at the it's a Chagrin Documentary Film Festival. I think I got that right. That's correct. Do I, um, I, we were talking about her, um, about her exploits before she became a famous pilot, but one of the things I wanted to mention was she, she was an instructor, wasn't she? She was an instructor. Actually, first in um, Tulsa, Oklahoma, she taught at the Spartan School of Aeronautics and started training male pilots in World War II. I think so, I got an incredible women, women's liberation movement lady here on my hands. How about that? <laughs> my God, how do we deal with this, J.C.? We're always used to... Well, of course, Connie is like that when she's here, too. Well, we Irish are always, uh, you know, open to women. But women, right? like, when I think uh. back on it, now, Katie, uh. when I think back on it, my uh, grandfather, he married a woman. He was from, my grandfather was from County Sligo. Okay. And uh, he married a woman from Mayo, and she had the land. She, so he moved in with her, got married first, of course, in those days he got married first. Not like that today, but he moved in with her. But there was never any question to who ran the Quinn household. There it you was go. Mrs. Quinn. And she weighed 350 pounds and he weighed 120. <laughs> <laughs> so she was the boss. And she controlled the money. When they went to the town to sell the eggs and the, and the, um, the produce, she took all the money. She gave him enough for one pint of Guinness. And that was all he got. That was and probably he never divorced and he, her. Smart and she, That's probably a wise she, choice. <laughs> he, he sat on the, they had a donkey and cart with a board across the cart, and she sat up in the front driving that the donkey, <laughs> and he it. sat in the back of the cart with his legs hanging out the back. <laughs> like I say, in the village, there was no question about who was the boss in that family. She ran that thing like a corporation. So anyway, I'm not saying you're like that, Katie. <laughs> not at all. Maybe just a little bit. <laughs> okay. But carry on anyway. I just uh, didn't want you to think that I didn't understand this women's liberation. Uh, I understand it quite well. Oh, that's good. That's yeah. wonderful. So, yeah, so Aunt Nancy was quite ahead of her time. Mm -hmm. um, again, started teaching at, at Spartan School in Tulsa. Um, again, can you imagine being a, a male pilot of that era? You know, pretty, pretty macho for the time, World mm -hmm. War II. And coming into school and and here comes this very attractive Glamorous. Irish lass who's now going to, you know, teach you how to do your stuff. How to fly. Yeah, had, Nancy had an incredible safety record um, in terms of flying, which is very important. That was one of her big accolades. Um, after Spartan, she went on to teach at Stevens College in Missouri and started a women, that was a women's college, and started their aviation program there. Um, and I believe it's mentioned in the film, I think she had 600 female students, all of whom passed their tests on the first try. Great teacher, um, great teacher. Right, so had a really, really good track record. Excellent instructor. Um, the movie, it's going to be, Eddie would give us a kind of a preview over there a bit. Uh, the movie is taking place on, what date again? Sixth, October 5th. Fifth actually at noon. The mm -hmm. actual film festival runs from the 5th through the 9th. Um, the English title of the film is Nancy Corrigan Sky Blazer. That's the whole title of the film. Mm -hmm. um, so, And it will be shown at the Chagrin Valley Little Theater again October 5th at noon. So we're hoping that everyone will come out to see it. It's very exciting. I'm happy to share it with everybody here in the Cleveland area. And uh, Margaret Lynch is arranging some transportation, isn't she? Yes, actually, via the um, Irish American Archives Society, they played a huge, Margaret Lynch and the Society played a huge role in doing some research for the film. Um, so the IAAS and the ACL Cleveland Twinning Initiative are both um, offering this bus trip. So they'll be leaving at about 10.30 in the morning on the 5th. Um, from the back parking lot at PJ McIntyre's. Mm -hmm. On the 5th, because I, I said the 6th. And it's that actually was the 5th. It's, it's Wednesday. It's the 5th. Okay, everybody, it's, the information I gave was the 6th, but it's the 5th. Wednesday okay. the 5th, exactly. So and I was given that information by Colleen, so it wasn't my fault. Oh, <laughs> all right. You're under the bus. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She's not here. <laughs> <laughs>
I don't make mistakes. Uh, <laughs> women are taking over anyway. We've got to make them look bad somehow. Uh, <laughs> well, we'll get it all straightened That's out it. here for you. So. Colleen, yeah, right. call me. <laughs> okay. So again, the bus trip is October 5th. They'll be leaving from the back lot at PJ McIntyre's at 1030 in the morning. Tickets are $25 a person. That includes your transportation and your ticket to the film. I believe there'll be some snacks on the bus and then um, lunch on your own at PJ PJ's when you come back. Bottle of Correct. Middleton on Correct. the bus. <laughs> Look what snacks Eddie, what do you think? Now, it, it's not a very long movie. I think it's just about 52 a, minutes. So not even an hour. Right. So it'll be a nice little trip to Chicken Falls. And those of you that have not made that journey to Chicken Falls, especially if you're a West Sider, you may not have been there. It's a lovely little town. Beautiful. One of my <coughs> favorites. And yeah. maybe we'll be lucky and the leaves will start changing. Bit of a waspish town, but no, nevertheless. <laughs> that's not hard. I love the town, actually. All right. So uh, to get the tickets, what can they do again? So you can email, um, and I have a date here, a deadline of September 30th, but I'm sure they'll work with you on that. But you can email to iaasadmin at gmail.com. Um, mm -hmm. Or you can direct any questions to Margaret Lynch at that same, again, iaasadmin at gmail.com. Or I have a phone number of area code 216-941-5727. Okay, that's great. Uh, I want to mention this. Uh, I got an email in from, let's see, Patricia LaValle. She says, uh, please wish Rossa Chambers a very happy birthday from our Hibernian sisters and brothers. And that's for you, Rasa. It was her birthday. In fact, I saw that birthday on Facebook, and it gave her age. It doesn't give it here. But, uh, it's on Facebook. Speaking Ooh. of birthdays, yes. my, my younger sister, Megan Kilbane, is having a birthday today. Today? Today. Well, Megan, happy birthday. How much you... trouble would I be in if I didn't wish my sister a happy birthday on the air? Oh. So happy birthday, Megan. And you know what? You're doing so well. You're so natural. You think you were sitting at home in our kitchen just talking. She was nervous as hell before she went on the air. She said, I don't know what I'm going to do. And here she is. She's a pure natural. Well, you're making it very easy. Thank you're you doing, very much. You're doing great. It is true. Great. Jerry, happy birthday to my daughter, Mary Ellen. I would be remiss if I did I wish her the best. Love you, dear. Uh, and uh, JC, I want to talk to you. You and I need to talk about the Mayo Ball. I'm looking, I'm looking forward to it. It's coming up. It's three weeks from last night. Three weeks. Four weeks. Four weeks from, four weeks from, from last night. Um, it's a, it's a story. We have the Indians. The website for the bus trip is i a a s a d m i n at gmail dot com, or you can contact Margaret Lynch with any questions at area code two one six nine four one. Five seven two seven. And if somebody wants to just drive out to see it, all they have to do is drive to Chagrin Falls, right? Correct. You on can drive fifth? to Chagrin Falls on the fifth. Individual tickets are five dollars a piece. You can also purchase those online at chagrin.festivalgenius.com. And again, Nancy's film. Sorry, the name of the film for reference is Nancy Corrigan Sky Blazer. Um. You know, I don't know that theater seat. Uh, any clue? I don't have I'm any sure idea. I'm sure it's small. I'm sure it is small. Uh, most of those community theaters like that are pretty so small. So get your tickets early. But I don't Thank have the address. Up. I don't have the address of the theater on my paper here. Uh, and so we, you'll be able to find it. You probably can Google it, and I'm sure we'll be able to find the, the address. Yeah, absolutely. They'll be showing 76 films in total. Um, so it's a very large film festival, really a gem in the area. Um, I'm not sure how many people, you know, really know about it, but there are documentaries from all over the world. Mm -hmm. oh, wonderful. Yeah. Oh. It's 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 off it's off of uh, Main Street. It's if, if you, you if you know where uh, Gamekeepers is, it's yes, back do. it's back that way. It's back down. It, it's right by the river, or you know. Uh, sure, uh, by the falls. Somebody is heading for the Google. Yeah, I, I don't know the name oh, here, of the street. Oh, here, here, I got it. Forty River Street in okay, Chagrin River Falls. Street. It's right along. It's right along. Just follow on if you're on the north side of the river. That's where you want to be. And again, it's the Chagrin Valley Little Theater, Forty River yeah, Street. It is a small theater. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, JC, 
at our ball, we're having the Murphy Irish Dancers. You know the great display they did last year, the great show Absolutely. they put Fantastic. on? Fantastic. And we're having the Ohio Rose of Trolley, and she's going to do our hula hoop display <laughs> that she did at the Rose of Trolley in, in uh, Trolley. Yeah. A got her into the finals. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Was, oh, I got to say, lovely. yeah, Tommy called, and he wanted to wish everybody here, uh, you know, have a wonderful day, okay. and he says. Hi to you, Jerry. Did not single me out. At all. No, he didn't single you out at all. <laughs> I will single you out, Jerry. Oh, Have right. a nice day. <laughs> okay, uh, let's go back to the music for a minute. And uh, 